Justin, would you say that it is fair to call your path, your road to the National Football League, the one less traveled? Yeah, you could say that for sure. It's uh, it's been quite a ride. Um, you know, every every job I ever took or every experience I had, um, you know, starting out as a player and then moving up through the coaching ranks, uh, it, it's gotten me to where I am today. And um, whether it was a high school coach and learning how to put equipment together and manage different types of personalities and making sure, you know, not only are grades good, but also the families are good with those high school kids as a high school t uh, coach and teacher. Like all those things kind of set me up for where I am today because at the end of the day, we're all teachers. Um, at this, It doesn't matter if it's the NFL or college or high school. It's, it's what can you do to bring uh, the best out of each player. And if they're playing fast and you're teaching the right things in the classroom, um, you know, good things happen. Justin, you stay in Atlanta for two years and then you join Matt LaFleur in Green Bay. Tight end coach, what was that experience like? And what did you learn that sort of added to your football knowledge that really sticks out now? Um, I think uh, the, the most intimidating thing was walking into a position room that you knew it was your first position job in the NFL. And uh, Mercedes Lewis and Jimmy Graham are the two uh, cornerstones in that room. And I'm sitting there going, what can I teach these guys? They've been playing longer than anybody I've ever been around. And uh, Mercedes Lewis happened to be my age. <laughs> and uh, and it just, just sitting down with those guys and they understood real quick where I was coming from. I'm there to help them. I'm, help, I'm, I'm there to help develop, I'm, you know, whether it's just football or it's just life. And I think um, what I learned most out of that year was, you know, it's, it's not about X's and O's. It's about what's going on outside the walls. What can you do to bring uh, more of a clear mind to the players by either talking through some issues or, um, you know, allowing them to learn in a different way or a diff different aspect of just life. Um, but, you know, not everybody learns the same either. Whether you're 38 years old and you're trying to teach a guy, uh, you know, off a PDF or you're actually going through a walkthrough. Those are the things that popped up that year. Justin Outen, you had a lot of opportunities after the season, and you chose to join Mike Vrabel and the Tennessee Titans as the running back coach and the run game coordinator. Why was this the right spot for you and your family? You know, going through the uh, interview tour, uh, meeting with Mike for the first time, um, I had a lot of respect for this organization and uh, the way he ran his team, because you, you look at each and every time we played them in the past, it was always gonna be a fist fight. You had to play your best, uh, every snap and um, interviewing with Mike, you saw it come out. You, you saw why the players play hard for him. You, you see the leadership qualities. And I wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to learn from a different style of coaching. Um, you know, him, he does a great job with not only the players, but the coaches themselves. And, you know, he's, he's really in tune with the offense, defense and special teams. And he's still learning and he admitted that. And that was, that was very, that was awesome for me to hear because if you feel like in his position, you could easily say, well, I'm the head coach. I'm going to just kind of deal with the uh, just the overall organizational thing and then kind of deal with issues as they pop up. He's continuously learning. And um, I was fired up when he gave me the opportunity just because I wanted to be a part of that. All right. So let's wrap up with this, Justin Outen. You're nearly 40. Could you have ever imagined the, the ride and where it would have taken you in different places when you left Central Bucks West and went to Syracuse and you've ended up in the National Football League with a prominent position. And I, I know your ultimate goal is to be a head coach in the National Football League. Could you have ever imagined? I could imagine. And, um, you know, I tell my wife nearly every week that we, we're just blessed for the situations that we've been in and we try to take advantage of it as much as we can. But. You know, moving the kids around and moving her around, you kind of see the entire country and kind of you see the different lives and aspects of just everything and how people go about their business, the, the accent changes and all those things. But it's been quite a ride of just kind of seeing the country, being a part of different organizations. And, um, you know, you could easily look back and say, wow, this has been quite a ride. But if you look back, you'll lose focus of where you are. And if you look forward, you're going to do the same thing. Justin Outen, thank you so much for the time. I appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you.